Hi, I'm Susan Lappin with my husband, Rabbi Daniel Lappin, here for another session of Ask the Rabbi. This question came into our website. I have a trip planned with my siblings to travel to the areas where we grew up in the hopes of reliving some wonderful memories of our childhood. Of course, there will be a mix of laughs, smiles, and the inevitable sad memories. No one's life is without this. Is this a healthy activity to revisit one's past to enjoy memories and life lessons from the past in order to reinforce who you are today? I've been told this is a waste of time and I should only look to the future. Thank you for your insight and I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, Breljana. Was that how you would say it? Yeah, By pretty much. Spelling? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And I love when we can answer a question with an insight into Hebrew. Yes. Because as you always say, you, everyone language. needs a rabbi. <laughs> it's the Lord's language. And so very often things come out of the Hebrew. One of the w amazing things about reading, this, reading scripture, reading the five books of Moses and, and the prophets in Hebrew, is that there are very, very few verbs that appear in present tense. There's past tense and there's future tense. Tons of that. Very little present tense. Even now, look what just happened. There was a moment that was in the past, then it went like that, or it was in, and now it's, when it, no, it was in the future, sorry. There was a moment in the future, it came and went, now it's in the past. Past is, is this little, little, little sliver. And how we run our lives, one of the things we, we can learn from the Hebrew language, from the way God wrote the Bible, is that we have to be constantly aware that when we're, wherever we are, there's a tug. There's always a past that we have to be aware of, and there's a future we have to be aware of. That's why the sentence, well, it feels good to me right now, is a terrible sentence. Not that you shouldn't do things that feel good, but they should feel good knowing that there's a past and that it honors your past and that it respects your future. So I would say going back to childhood memories is a fantastic thing as long as you're not stuck in childhood memories. Of course, and there's pluses and minuses. Look, we are creatures of our raising. There's no question about it. Uh, when you find yourself doing things that you recognize your parents to have done, that really proves it for you. That kind of <laughs> locks it in, doesn't it, in a way that you really realize that uh, you are impacted by that. But, and yes, it's, it's fun to get together and, and relive the past. It, it's only good, and sometimes it even sheds a little bit of light on who you are. You share something with a sibling, and you understand for the first time, maybe they knew something about your parents that somehow you never knew. I, I think these get-togethers are absolutely fabulous. Um, but don't forget... There comes a time in everybody's life where you have to stop blaming your parents for everything that goes wrong in your life and start taking blame for yourself, taking responsibility and accountability. And, and that is a, uh, it's, it's really important. I'm stressing it because in, uh, where, where we live today in this time in history, there is so much of this indulgence of talking about the past and ha speaking to therapists and counselors and psychologists who help you understand of how your parents ruined your life. Stop it already. Take your life in your own hands. Stop thinking that everything that's happened to you is because of your parents. Whether it is or it doesn't matter. Nobody cares as much about your life as much as you do. Take it in hand and move forward. Love the past, relish the past, enjoy it and reminisce in it, and use it to help keep moving forwards. Uh, Susan and I both uh, wish you a, a week of good health and prosperity. Till we're together next time, everything is up to you.